I'm going to the network section. Okay, I'm going to a network section, and I'm clearing all the things. If you observe, get live chat is called once, then get live chat is called again. Okay, and the get live chat is called periodically. Okay, so every x interval you are seeing, right? In almost at every second, almost every second, I think the uh, it is it is kind of uh, fetching the new set of comments from the backend and appending it to the existing set of the comment that it already has. And after a point, for example, they might have made a array with a limited length, and obviously the, all the old items will go off, and only the new items will be remaining. Let's go to the design of the second thing that we discussed. That is the live streaming. Correct? Live streaming has its own set of challenges. How are you going to solve the live streaming, etc.? Okay. The that's the reason why I had opened the Arch Tech Live. I don't know whatever they are streaming. I'm not much concerned on that. Okay. So and there's nothing like a recommendation to watch uh, Arch Tech. I just searched uh, any particular live streaming video. Obviously, the news are the best way to get the live streaming. So I'm opening some news. Okay. And I paused the video long back only. So this you are seeing this live streaming. Uh, why I'm showing this is in interview also this might happen. Interviewer might show you this. The reason for that is, see, one thing that is getting different than the normal streaming is the normal video. Whatever I showed you here is the comment section, correct? So there are right now around eleven thousand eight hundred seventy-six people are watching, and if you observe this, the comments are being flooded like anything, correct? This looks like an easy problem to solve with the help of page and other things, but it is not that easy. Okay, so let's say if you want to design the component for the live streaming, it pretty much remains the same as this. There is not much of a difference. Only the added section is the rather having this comment section. It has a live comment section, so component architecture remains as it is. Okay, now so here we have this live streaming, and so many comments are be getting populated every second. Correct. Tell me what is the approach that you would think in case if you are someone who already know the right approach for this live commenting, please mention that in the comment section. Okay, you can mention the video timing and add that in the comment section. What is the right way to use the live streaming, live commenting? If not, I'm going to explain. I was discussing about the live commenting. I assume some of you might might have already commented like how live streaming or live commenting works. If not, let us start discussing certain approaches in the live regarding the live commenting. Okay, so. What are the pro what are the approaches that are possible for the live comment? Okay, so I, I'll I'll explain whatever the things that are happening. Basically, there are some ten comments or some x number of comments which are loaded whenever the live streaming video loaded. Correct. Further comments are being added in a periodic interval. Correct. And as you can see here, you can always scroll up, scroll up, and read. Only certain number of old comments. Okay, this is the reason why you need to look at the system before designing it. So they are not allowing you to see all the one lakh comments that are happened before what you came, or all the comments that have happened in the past. There's certain scroll, whatever the scroll they have, right? In that interval, whatever has been commented, you can see. For example, now it is at whatever the let's say it's like one p.m. You are watching the video. All the all the comments that came, for example, some 200 comments that came before one o'clock can be seen on the screen. Correct. So, how? What are the different mechanisms that we can use to solve that? Are so what we can do is let me just start adding those mechanisms of mechanisms of live commenting. Okay. How we can basically achieve it? That's what I mean here. Mechanisms of live commenting. Okay. So one. Easiest way is what we uh, you are generally does is polling, okay. Second is server sent events. Third definitely is sockets, okay. I'll explain about each of them and this is the same way how you need to also do in the interview, okay. List them, explain the pros and cons, and tell which approach suits best for you, okay. So in the polling we also have something called short polling. I'm very sorry if my spelling of polling is not correct. I think it is right. Okay, short. I am not that expert in English uh, uh, spellings actually. Long pulling, ah, huh? mm. pulling, long pulling and short pulling. Uh, okay, I don't know. It is not pulling. It could be polling only. Okay, basically, I mean, I'll explain what I mean. So, if I made a spelling mistake, please correct it. Okay, servers and events have no subsections as such. Okay, so what do I mean by polling here is. Client make a request to server at a consistent uh, interval time or a periodic interval of time. Okay, let's say every five second you make a call. Okay, 
So every five second you make a call and get the data. Let us quickly see what is happening in YouTube. I'm going to the network section. Okay, I'm going to network section, and I'm clearing all the things. If you observe, get live chat is called once, then get live chat is called again. Okay, and the get live chat is called periodically. Okay, so every x interval you are seeing right in almost at every second. Almost every second, I think the uh, it is it is kind of uh, fetching the new set of comments from the backend and appending it to the existing set of the comment that it already has. And after a point, for example, they might have made a array with a limited length, and obviously the, all the old items will go off, and only the new items will be remaining. Got it? This is the easiest way. Very constantly poll and get the data and add it. Okay. But there are two type, different types of polling. One is short polling and long polling. What is short polling? Uh, you call. Uh, at a periodic interval, and backend immediately sends all the new uh, whatever the comments that has immediately. Another thing called the long polling. What is long polling means? Let's say you called the backend, but backend doesn't have any new comments. That might happen, right? There are many people who are live streaming, and if YouTube cannot uh, call backend every one second to get the new set of comments, even in those uh, criteria, correct? Because there may not be many new comments, but it will make a call, and the backend will wait for a particular interval of time, like 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 25 seconds. That is a interval. With for which the client waits, okay, for a particular request to fail. After 25 seconds, or else generally what backend does is it will take a request. It will wait for some. Let's say 20 seconds is when the UI considers as the request has failed. After a 15 second, it will see if any new data is there. Whatever it is, it will flush. If there is no new data also, it will flush that with the empty array. Okay, this is called the long polling. Advantages of long polling is. Short polling disadvantage, you know, you call, you may not have anything. So you are simply consuming a server resource for nothing. Whenever there are no comments, for example, for the long polling advantage is you take you are waiting for a significant amount of time. Definitely, there could be a high chance where some comments come and you will return. So comparing short law polling and long polling, long polling is better in certain areas where you are not expecting some things to happen very often. Okay. Next thing is the server sent events. So this is very very optimal approach compared to the polling. Server sent events are nothing but server will send a trigger to you, and whenever there are triggers, you will be making a network call. Okay. So there are different ways with which server sent events can be configured. If you are not at all knowing, please mention that in comment section. I'll make it, but I'll not deviate this video to explain the server sent events in detail. Very simple words. There is a trigger from the backend, and you UI knows this trigger means I need to call this API. It will call and get the data. Okay, so this is very optimal because backend knows when there are new set of comments, it will inform the UI, and the UI makes a call and gets the data. So this is server sent events. Very optimal uh, compared to the polling approaches. Okay, but it is not suitable in all the scenarios because server sent events will have its own performance problems. Okay, because client will have a connection dedicated in the server. All the clients we have 200 billion plus users. If 200 billion, not 200 billion, very huge user base. I think 2 billion users YouTube has around 2 to 200 crores. If all the 200 crore people, let's say they will not watch at the same time, but let's say just at least 10% of them watch the video at the same time. That is around how many? Uh, I think 20 million, correct? 20 million people watching at some time. From 200 crores, not 20 million, 200 crore user if you have, 20 crore people watching it at one particular point of time. Then 20 crore connection has to be established to the server, correct? And there are chance where uh, definitely not 20 crore, whoever is watching the live streaming those many connections will be established and that number also will be significantly high for the server correct and there may not be any update happening on the server in such cases this connection should be waste and that resource cannot might have been used for some other things like obviously there is a lot of research that has gone into making this video so please like the video and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon if you're not already done so and add a comment whatever you felt so far the reason for that i always say i have only motto of i help want to help the candidate to clear their interview so if more more likes more comments video becomes visible for a lot whenever it is visible for a lot uh, there is a high chance i get more subscribers and the followers definitely the there is a high chance i would be able to reach my cause very soon okay so please like and comment about the video before watching the further okay now okay next we have something called sockets most of you know what are sockets so server difference between server sent events and the sockets are sockets are two way connection server sent events are one way connected like only the back end will send certain things to ui and ui makes a modification sockets are nothing but two way connection the best example are the uh, messaging Whenever you're doing messaging in the uh, WhatsApp or whenever you're chatting on the web with uh, some support and all you'll do, right? Every site, a lot of sites have a support central where you can do the live chatting. All those work actually on the sockets because client also can send certain things to a connection and the server also can send back certain things to a connection. It's a two-way. 
okay servers and events are one way where only back end will send certain things to the client so these are the three different approaches with which the the we can get the comments from the uh, live commenting uh, we can enable live commenting in the youtube this is very good interviewer will be definitely happy if you are able to approach explain all these problems next question that interviewer will ask is wasn't what is the approach that you suggest for us like if you are building youtube now which approach you are going to go whether short polling long polling server side events in the sockets very first thing i'm not going to go with sockets okay because sockets are very very costly compared to the other things because you are establishing a channel and this is not like a charting uh, this is just a one way somebody sends a comment somebody replies there and again you have to send a comment it is like group chat everyone messaging in one direction it's not like a two way like you sending it's going to server coming back no both are sending to one server and they can both can see the comments in the live so i'm not go with the sockets so server side events i might go so servers and events are also good but considering the scale of youtube where we have billions of users servers and events also will consume lot of uh, energy with the help of by making the uh, connections so many connections are open and sometimes these connections could be meaningless simply server utilization is high so i may not go with the servers and events also i will go with polling don't think i am biased looking at whatever i showed you obviously you also felt like youtube is doing a polling at every second correct uh, why why i am selecting the polling is so you already know what is short polling and long polling i have already explained polling i will not go with a typical polling where i call it every one second and get no i'll not do that i will use a algorithmic way of determining that duration like for example aaj tak whatever i was saying there are for foreigners who are watching there is a lot of youtube uh, there are a lot of um, foreign news channels which are been streaming some channels might have very limited comments that are happening on a day to day basis some live streaming some channels no some some news channels that are present live streaming on youtube might have limited users and limited comments some youtube channels with that are live streaming news channels that are live streaming might have huge user base and so many comments so i'll do a short polling itself but the whatever the duration with which i make a call is not predefined so that that is something that is determined depending on the video which i am watching and this number is calculated by a machine learning algorithm by watching that channel periodically definitely there will be a default value when a new news channel starts streaming or new live streaming comes but after a point whenever the algorithm becomes smarter it will tell me this is the duration with my lot of analysis in the past this is the duration with which the live comments need to be updated and that duration i'll do a short polling that seems better option for me considering the huge scale of um, uh, things like the youtube okay so this is the another problem that i want to discuss in live streaming last thing that i want to discuss here is wasn't the what how youtube live streaming is working this will be generally asked in the interview like what is the protocol with which the streaming is happening actually there are many protocols for the live streaming correct most popular ones that everyone aware of is a web rtc correct so real web web real time communication rtc stands for one of the very very popular framework but only problem with web rtc is uh, let me just note down so that you guys also noted properly live streaming protocols okay one is web rtc okay and the second one uh, second one is um, rtmp and the third one is hls i have written certain things on the left so that i won't miss it out so i'm mentioning here so these are the three popular uh, live streaming protocols that are available wasn't is it necessary for me to know these things before attending the interview i would highly recommend you you need to know okay why because you have to always explain a pros and cons of an approach and rule out some approach and take one approach like i mentioned here correct so it's always essential for you to pick the, all the popular systems and analyze the popular system and take a note and explain that correct so three popular systems are there webrtc rtmp and hls so webrtc like i said it is uh, open source and it uses udp okay if you don't know what is udp user datagram protocol basically it's a connectionless protocol and there is a high chance where some packets are lost in this particular uh, with with udp based one okay and hlns is uh, uh, very easy definition http live streaming okay so this is built by apple in 2008 okay so definitely as you can guess i have already read about all these protocols in the past i would advise you also need to read Uh, like this whenever you are practicing for the system design okay rtmp is real time messaging protocol real time messaging protocol it uses uh, tcp okay reliable fast okay it's reliable and it is fast okay compared to uh, other frameworks okay and it is meant for uh, 
I mean, it is it is not like a very old one. It is newly designed for meeting the modern day needs. So obviously, you know which uh, which uh, protocol that I'm going to pick. I'll be picking the RTMP. In fact, you YouTube also uses the RTMP protocol for the live streaming purpose. Not the live streaming, even the normal streaming in YouTube also happens with the help of RTMP, real time messaging protocol. So what are protocols? You very well know. It's just a set of rules that is agreed between the client and the server. Every protocol will have certain set of rules which will make it to be fast, slow, and certain different aspects. So and also very important thing to note here is RTMP uses the tcp so okay tcp is a connection oriented protocol so a connection is established between the client and server so no packets are lost more security and even if you due to your internet issue if you lost lose certain packets after you get those packets whenever your internet is up you there is a chance where you can combine them on the ui and you can show it to the user so the, because of all these reason rtmp is come recommended for even it is used in facebook live youtube live and maybe other lives these are two systems i have clearly studied other systems i don't know but lot of uh, live streaming um, apps on the web might be using the rtmp as a protocol so youtube also using the rtmp protocol see if you explain all these things to interviewer like how i explained uh, what are the mechanisms of live commenting what are the problems with the uh, pagination with the commenting so if you explain all these things to interviewer he'll be terribly happy correct like he knows so many things uh, and he's taking each approach one by one it is uh, scratching why this is not suitable for this application and why this only need to be used he'll be very happy that looking at your knowledge about a particular um, system design so much he already know definitely he'll be able to contribute whenever he is inside the company okay so after all this there is one last thing that i want to tell 